Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw seed germination. So right up here at the top I'm going to write seed germination. And that is a long way of saying that this is the process you use for seeds to develop into new plants. Okay, first thing we're going to do is about right here on the left hand side we're just going to draw a little wavy line and stop leave it floating. We're going to take one finger and come down with a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curved line down, up, in, connect at the dot. Right here at this space I'm going to draw a wavy line out and a wavy line in. I am now going to draw a triangle in a straight line. Because this is a science drawing, we're going to label all the steps. And what is this? This is the seed with, I'm going to put the abbreviation W and slash, the root. Okay, that is the seed with the root. Now I take one finger and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down. Curve line up, curve line over, and connect. I come right about here towards the bottom and I'm just going to draw a curve line, again connect. I come up to the top and I draw a curve line up, curve line down, and out. Come back to the top, we're going to mimic that line, curve line up, curve line down, but this time I do a curve line in, out. I come down to this line on the right, curve line in, out, curve line out, in, out, connect. Okay? I come back up to this space right here and I draw a curve line and then a little curve line. One, two. I put my arrow, triangle, straight line and this part is shedding the seed coat. Seed coat. So that's the second step. So here's the seed with the root. This is now the seed with the uh, shedding of the seed coat into the next step. Now I come back in and I draw my wavy line again. Because right next to that, I'm going to come above, right about here and put a dot. And I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line up, connect. Then hooked onto that, I'm going to draw a curve line up, curve line down, connect. I come to the bottom and I draw a slightly wavy line down, wavy line out, in, wavy line out, in, out, and stop. Come back to the top. I'm just going to draw that wavy line again. Wavy line in, out, in, out, in, up, down, connect. Now, you don't have to do this exact because it's a plant. It's organic and they all grow differently. Okay, now I'm going to put my wavy line again. I'm going to put my arrow, triangle, straight line. And now this section is sprouting, sprouting baby plant leaves. Okay. So you can kind of see how everything is starting to grow. I'm going to put one curved line up here, one, two little straight lines. Okay. Now we come over to the last section right here. 
So I'm going to draw my wavy line. And right where I stop, right about here, I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line up, out, come back to the dot, slightly wavy line up, out. Now jump over to this side on the left and we're just going to draw a wavy line up. Keep going and stop. Come on this section. We're going to draw a wavy line up, out, and over. Now I come back on this top side and I mimic that line again. Wavy line in, out, and leave it floating. Now I come down to the bottom. I'm going to continue this line. I go wavy line out, in, wavy line out, in, wavy line out, in. Come on the right side. We're going to mimic those lines. Remember, they don't have to be exact. Wavy line out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Now I'm going to continue my wavy line up here all the way over to the right. And I come down to each one of these sections and I draw a curve line out, in, connect, curve line out, in, connect, curve line out, in, connect, curve line out, in, connect. Come inside and just draw curve line one, two, curve line one, two, curve line one, two curve line one two. Now I do my triangle, my straight line down, and this is now the second set of leaves for seed germination. Okay? The most important part of this is making sure that you do those printing at the bottom for labeling each stage so that you can read it. And now I'll show you how that, what that really means when we color. Okay, when you are doing um, a diagram, you don't want to color so dark that you lose all of your details. So the first thing I'm going to do so that I can see what I'm doing is I'm going to take a red crayon and I'm going to mark the top part of my triangles because those are my arrows. So I'm going to do that first. Okay? Then I'm going to double color the seed part. So I'm going to use orange to do that. Now some people would say well they shouldn't be really orange but I do that so that I can see what I'm doing. Then I'm going to take my brown and lightly go over the seed part. That's this section, that's the remains of this section, that's all the way over. Now we're double coloring so that I can see my roots. I was going to use pink but then I thought no yellow's better so I used yellow. This is this part, yellow and we're going to double color these, you'll see in a minute. Yellow. And the reason why I'm using a light color is because as this goes into a leaf stem, part of it will be green, and but then it dissolves back into the root system. And that part I'm going to keep yellow if everything works out right. So I got to give every section of this section some color of yellow. Let me bring this up and over, okay? Then with my green, this is the beginning of the plant. <clears throat> so lightly, if the line is above the wavy line going across, I'm going to put that kind of green and then it melts into the yellow. Same thing up here. This should all be green. You can even put a little bit of green over this section. Bring it down, but as soon as you hit that wavy line, just lightly, just a taste of green. Now, same thing up here. These are definitely green, but I'm going to still keep that yellow first coat so I remember where it came from. Bring it on down, and I'm coloring lightly. 
Okay, now I'm hitting that wavy line again. So now just a little bit, a taste of green, I call it. Okay. Now, you don't want to color all of this so dark that you can't see all the details you just did. So when is that most important? Amazingly, when you do the bottom part of your ground, your earth. So lightly, lightly, lightly with my brown crayon, I'm just going to do a loop-de-loop, -loop, round and round, very light brown color. I don't want to lose my roots. I don't want to lose my printing. I don't want to lose anything that I've just spent time drawing, but I do want you to know that this is all happening in the earth. Okay? So that's very light. Correspondingly, you got to be outside in a blue sky. So again, using my loop-de-loop, -loop, which is around, 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 line, lightly color in your sky. And the same thing goes. You don't want to color so dark that you lose any of the details or the labeling that you just did. Okay? All right. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, for this project, I'm just going to keep my initial drawing that I did just with all of you to show you that this is what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, bye-bye.